Chris. Big Chris. Big Chris. Oh dear. Are you there, you great big dunderhead? Scotty, I'm here. You're there. Where were you? Hey. In I, the lobby. No, I was just going to turn my radio up. Hey, listen, I'm fair puffed out after that wee workout we had there this morning. Did you like that wee workout? I loved it, and I'm an, I'm an aerobic instructor myself. Did you like that? Spin your head round 360 degrees and back the other way. I never quite managed it, but I'm going to, I'm going to be practicing. And leg in the back of the neck, another leg in the back of the neck. Oh, here you Oh, you've got everything in this show, eh? Well, don't, we, we don't muck about here, you know, Big Chris. <laughs> so, did you do the step aerobics up and down to the top cupboard for beans? Hey, everything, mate. I'm into everything. I sort of heard. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you been doing it yourself, then, Scotty? The show of the step aerobics. The step aerobics. <laughs> 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 the step aerobics and the jiving. The jiving, or the gyro. <laughs> <laughs> and step aerobics and into the door for your gyro. And out again, in again, and out. Sign on, back out the door. That's it. One, two to the side. <laughs> oh, you got me away again. So do you do all that? Do you do the step aerobics? Oh, I love it. Love it, and, definitely. And what, how do you do them? I mean, what are, you just got them doing steps. Well, like, for instance, when I stayed up the top of the tenement, would that have been step aerobics? Because it felt like it when you were coming back in for the pump sunrise. <laughs> you see, I'm fair puffed out. No, you, you paid um, about a hundred pounds for a wee box and you'd, you walk up and do it. Excuse me, wait a minute. You pay a hundred pounds for a wee box and uh, you walk up and do it. Uh, for a hundred quid to puff you. That's a bit of step aerobics. But you, you don't need that with your show. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna retire and start making the wee boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I do it on the couch. You do what on the couch? <laughs> step aerobics on the couch. Steps. I do my step on the couch, Scott. But that's bad for the springs. <laughs> Are you stepping up and doing in the couch? Oh no, I'm, I'm lying on it now. You've got me puffed out. You're puffed out. <laughs> <laughs> but I did give a warning out with that, not to try it at home. I know you said it was for entertainment purposes, for entertainment but I never purposes. heard that before I started. Oh, you'd started, had you? I'd started. And had you just got a leg round the back of the neck when oh. you realised you shouldn't be doing it? Yeah, and I realised, I thought, crap, I didn't think I could do this. <laughs> and you found out you were right. <laughs> <laughs> my back's gone, Scotty. My back's gone. <laughs> your backside's gone? No. <laughs> yeah, my backside's fell off. I think your brain's away as well. <laughs> Mar Martin. Hello there. Hello there. Um, what are you talking about? This uh, contraceptive um, jab for young boys. Listen, excuse me. No, I think me. that's a brilliant idea. See that voice of yours? You're going to shatter the windows in here. <laughs> Jane. John. How are you doing, Scotty? No bad, sir. Ah, uh, how's things all right? Things are brilliant. Ah, uh, uh, I'm going to talk about the polls, Scotty. Yes. I should ban it all together. It, it's me kids under 16. They should ban it all together? What? Say it again, John. I can't wait, Scotty. See you later, eh? You're away? Aye. Why have you to go? Eh? Why are you away? I'm somebody at the door. Well, somebody at the door? Aye. Oh, listen. I won't keep the nation waiting then. Right. Okay, there we are. He's had to go because there's somebody at the door. <laughs> Stephen! Hello, Scotty. Hello, Stephen. Hello. Can you tell me who's going to pay for the folk that are going to be in jail? What do you mean who's going to pay for the folk that are going to be in jail? You are. I am? Yes. Why? Because that's the way it works. Can you well, tell, can so, you tell, excuse me. So you don't want to give them their, their gyro money, but no, you'll put, put, put them in jail, and then they'll them being in jail. Put them in but jail. But they're already overtrided anyway. You must think you should never go in jail. No, I certainly do not. I think you should be in the jail, because no, you're, no, you're, no, no, no. you're just you, a dumpling. You're just a dumpling. You should be in the jail. You're an idiot. You, you and your six regular callers should be in the jail. You're an idiot. <laughs> That's your trouble, right? Uh, now no, listen, no, no. I'll tell you something no, 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 else. No, no, no. Who's going to pay for bringing up all these children for the single mothers? You! Are you going to pay? I'm, I'm, exactly. I'm minted. Exactly. Of, I'm course, minted. of course you're minted. <laughs> but you see what I'm trying to say to you? You're co so quick to jump in there and be cheeky. Pardon? You're so quick to jump in and be cheeky. You said that twice. I just said it twice because you said pardon because you're an idiot. What's that? You're an idiot. <laughs> you said that three times. I've said it three times to you because it's true. It's not true. Now why it's don't you true. why don't you only, shove only off? You, only you and your sick regular callers. Listen, don't be so stupid. I have over two hundred callers a day here. 
<laughs> right? And I can do without that, talking to a, you. That's a lie story, isn't that's it? That's fact. That's a lie. That's a fact. The, the only Can one that's a liar is you. Listen, listen, you listen to this program all the time because you can't get away from it. It's, no, it's because my radio is jammed in one station. Your radio is jammed in one station? That's right. I think your head's jammed. <laughs> John, Frank. Hello, Scotty. Yes, sir. Have you had your bloody good one? Right, now, who have we got here? Is that you, Bill? Bill! Oh, hello. Hi, hello! Hello, Bill! Can you tell me something, Scotty? Yes! How much do you pay in tax a week? How much do I pay in tax a week? A considerable amount! Aye, how much? Well, I mean, that's none of your business. How much do you pay in tax? Aye, well, I, I paid an awful lot. Right, well, I pay an and, awful lot as well. And, no, it's just, I, li I listen to some of your patter, and it's ridiculous. How do you mean it's ridiculous? I'm trying to save you money. No, because... If you, everybody climbs to the door, right, that's going to cut your tax and bill down. drivers and other guys that work are self-employed. Yeah? You don't pay anything, like... How do you know I'm self-employed? Oh, I'm almost sure you're self-employed. See, well, you're almost wrong. No, I don't think I'm wrong. You're talking complete and utter rubbish, no. Bill, OK? Wait, no, well, just, just don't cut me off, then. Why not? Right, give us a call, though. Colin! How you doing, Scotty? Fine, sir. It's Colin again. Colin again? Yeah. Anyway, right, what my point is today is, I was actually wanting to know what it is that you actually feel that you achieve with your show. Because, I mean, like, you're always going on about, you know, I mean, like, you're arguing with me about your callers being intellectual and intelligent and of all that. Of course they are. Well, well I mean, it's not necessarily just the callers, it's the listeners. You've got to remember there's hundreds of thousands of people listen to a show like this. I know, but I mean, you seem to have to repeat a phone number to them because I of that. I do have to repeat a phone number to them, yes, because they're a bit slow. Some people are not used to phoning the radio. They don't realise it's their programme. They might think that I'm a sort of official type programme like Question Time or something like that, they don't realise this programme's for them. See, I mean, you're always contradicting but, but yourself on that they, issue. But when they hear a dunderhead like you on... No, no, I'm not the dunderhead. You're the dunderhead and your listeners are the dunderhead. I've told you that already. That's a terrible but, thing to say. I mean, like, you're always contradicting yourself on that issue because, like, you're, you're, you're trying to make out that your show's intellectual and all that. And but then, of course it's intellectual. It's in, what, the talking only time, about dog poo being white. That's well, wait, well, 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 that is intellectual because when did you last see white dog poo? I mean, some folk are eating their breakfast when you're talking about that, you know? No, I can't help that. They should be eating their breakfast a lot earlier. Yeah? Yes. I mean, it nearly makes me feel as sick as your voice does. As thick as... You feel as thick as my voice does? No, no, as thick as your voice makes me feel sick. Any of that, you are thick. <laughs> anyway, look... You are thick, Colin. Uh, I'll tell you what really amused me. Look, uh, do you remember what earlier, look, there was, not in this show, but once in the week, there was guys calling you Nazis. <laughs> that was really funny. That was stupid. That, that was a buzz. I mean, you're, was... a, you're an idiot, Colin. I'm not the idiot. You're, no. you're a complete and utter idiot. You're a dunderhead. <laughs> I'd be obliged if you wouldn't phone this number again. <laughs> Come on, Scotty, you know it livens up your show. What do you mean, livens up my show? That, but if I was relying on you to liven up my show, I'd retire. Douglas! Hello, Scotty. Yes? I, I think you got it wrong about uh, the adoption thing for, you know, girls under age that have babies. How is that going to deter them, Scotty? Sorry? Surely it's just going to encourage them. It's going to get to... Well, just encourage them to have babies. If they think, oh, at the end, it's okay, somebody takes it away and looks after it. You know, I mean, that's just going to encourage them to have more babies. That's not a return. You're an idiot. You're a complete idiot. I am an idiot. I get all... You're a complete idiot. You come on here, you haven't even thought that out. I have, Scotty. You haven't thought it out. You haven't thought it out this morning, You've talked complete and utter rubbish. I'm not, Scotty. I'm telling you the truth. You're from start to finish. You're a girl. You're a girl. A girl's, not gonna be, a girl's not going to be worried oh, about it. You, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we've got you. You don't know what you're talking about. You're a clown. I think people have got you. We've Why don't you put your phone rattled. down? Why don't you're you put your phone down? Jim. Hello, Scotty. Yes, you. Fifty Blanter here. Fifty Blanter. Hi, 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 Blanter. Right. It just makes like you know that I think your show is not too bad, but I think you're a bloody idiot. Why? Hugh? Hello, Hugh? There we are. Well, at least I can work the telephone, Hugh. Marty? Hello, Scotty. Yes. Marty for Glasgow. Yes, Marty. How do you put up the Ori Bam Bam's first thing in the morning? I really don't know, Marty. It's yep. too much. I mean, that Hugh there, I mean, he is mentally ill, bless him. Oh, they're after Tolly, aren't they? You know, he's needing help. They're needing run about a, 
A supermarket says, inside a trolley. Your show's no too bad, but you're a bloody idiot. What's the point in coming on and saying that and then throwing the phone down? Oh, Scotty, that's them just been childish as usual, you hey. know what I mean? Childish. A tiny, tiny brain. Well, that's it. Now, what it, can I do for you, Marty? Right, it's about these women drivers, Scotty. Yes. I mean, they're a danger to the public on the roads. They are, you're quite right. Stephen! Stephen! Stephen, Stephen, Stephen! Hello, Scotty. Yes. You know that guy Colin? Yes. I think we should have more people on like him because he's brilliant and he's just putting you in your place. Putting me in my you, place? You're just an idiot. What do you mean I'm just an idiot? You just, you just... What gives you the right to come on here and call me an idiot? I've got every right. It's my, my show. It's not your show. You say it's the show for the people. You're a dunderhead. No, you're a dunderhead. Yes, you're just going to cut me off. Because you just cut people off that you don't like. I don't, don't cut like. people off yes. at all. Well, that's true. I suppose I cut them off if I don't like them. Stuart. Right, welcome back. You're listening to Scotty McClure, live on Scott FM. If you've just joined us, a very good morning to you, of course. Robert, are you there, Robert? Hello, Scotty. Yes. Aye. Listen, it's about the gold cheats. Do you not think that if the government were to pay enough money, there wouldn't be any gold cheats? No. I think you're talking complete nonsense. Andrew. All right. Yes. It's me calling again, actually. I fooled you there. You, you fooled hear? me? Oh, Chris. <laughs> hey. You have just said about three, three phone calls of, um, ago that the, the only intelligent person phoned you up. I phoned you up first thing this morning. But you're not intelligent. Denise! 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 Is this Denise from Coronation Street? You there, Daft Denise? No, no, they are right. Myra, that's and brilliant. See, and can I just say, see that guy, Colin? Yes. He is a wally. Every time he comes on the radio, my radio gets interfered with. I think we're going to ban him. I think you should. I think you should just cut him off all the time. We're going to ban him. We'll just go whoosh and off he goes. Ian. Hi, good morning, Scotty. Yeah. I listen to your show every morning, but I noticed this morning he's working on... Everything is off on a low note. Has everybody got their electricity bills in this morning, do you think? I think they must have, Ian. Jim. Oh. Yes. It's a bit... These young mothers, don't you think if they put the fag out with one horn and the bottle of beer out the other horn and use paper horns to hold their knickers up, there would be less problems? Yes, there would be a lot less problems, Jim. Diggy! Hi, McClue. Yes, well, it's having... Mr. Mr. McClue to you. Sorry, Mr. McClue, that's I just better. have a good idea about how... Because that's the scones ready. Cheery bye now, say. David! Hello, Scotty. Yes. See, everyone agrees with you on air. They're all intelligent. Of course. Scott! Have you noticed the support I seem to be getting since I've been beating you in these arguments, Scotty? You've never beat me in an argument. It's calling again, obviously. You've never beat me in an argument. Yeah. In fact, I'll tell you, you're banned from this programme, yeah. a lifetime ban. No, I think you should okay. put that to the nation whether well, I'm banned or not. Well, well the right. nation should decide whether uh, I'm banned okay. or not. Okay, hold on a second. This idiot I've got on at the moment, folks, should he be banned for life? For a week, for a day, whatever. Phone us now, 0990-337-337, and let us know. How's that? Because you, you, you get frightened when I phone up, because you're like, oh no, listen, Sonny. He's calling Sonny, again, he's going to beat me in an argument. See you, you couldn't beat your way out of paper pulp. Yeah, you just can't you, handle you it. You can't beat your bishop. Yeah, you can't. Jim. James, who's that? Hello? Hello? Oh, you, it's Angela. Oh, Angela! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here laughing away. Look, Scotty. I'm laughing away myself. <laughs> right, listen. Hmm. Now, I've got a work today, so I don't normally hear this programme. Oh, you don't normally hear it. Well, why can lucky. you not get them to turn it on at your work? Oh, because you wouldn't hear it for the machines. It's an engineering work. Oh, this is on. Well, of course you'd hear it for the machines. This is on in operating theatres and everything. Are you listening? Yes. I was driving to the bank the other day in the <laughs> company car, <laughs> and he was tuned into your programme. And I heard a comment about which part of lesbia do the lesbians come from. Yes. So I thought, this is something funny I need to hear. So I'm off today, so I'm tuned in. You've tuned in. So who had this brilliant idea of putting comedy on in the morning? It's not comedy, it's a very serious programme, this is current <laughs> affairs. Well, it's amusing to me. I object to being called comedy. Well, I think you're very amusing, I think you handle these people very well. I am a journalist. Especially Colin. Do, do we want Colin banned? Do we, do we want him banned? Mm. That is the big question. Isabel. Hello, dear. Yes, Isabel. I'm just phoning you in connection with Colin. Connection with him, right? I uh, listen to your show every day. Yes. I really enjoy it, but my highlight of the day is when that gentleman comes on. Isabel, I think you're seriously needing outside help, and I'm going to shout in the studio, Nurse, to check you over. Nurse, can you check this woman over, please? Jennifer. I don't think that man should be banned, Scotty. Why not? 
Because he's always beats you in arguments. Oh, don't be so stupid. He says he beats me, and you're so thick that you believe him. Ah. You don't actually listen to the argument. Now, no, dunder heads like you, you that's what's wrong with Scotland. You should move to England. Ah, you're right then, Scotland. Right, Angela. <laughs> Douglas. Hello, Colin. How are you, Colin? Angela. Hello. Hello. Hello, Scotty. Fine. That guy, Colin, he should be banned. He should be banned. Keith. Keith? Is it Keith or Keith? Rob? Hello, Scott. How you doing, big man? I'm fine, big man. Hey, Scotty. Nice to hear you, big uh, man. I didn't bother big boy. Hey, Scotty. Yes. Listen, what's the difference between Ben Crosby and Walt Disney? Uh, one sings and one Disney. Colin. Me. You. Colin. Colin. No, Colin, Colin. Colin, Colin. It's Colin on Colin. Colin on Colin, right, Colin. You get on Colin. Don't tell us about your private life. No, no, it's that dunderhead. He, he shouldn't be slagging you off. We shouldn't have him on. We shouldn't have. He should be banned. I think we'll ban, ban him, Scotty. We'll ban him. Ban him for life. Ban him for life, do you think, or for a week? I oh, never mind a week of life. A life. Aina. Hello. Hello, Aina. I think you should get rid of that, Colin. Why, darling? Because he's a bore. He's been on there about three or four times this morning. Right. I and mean, that's enough. With he, he just likes the sound of his own voice. No, he's a pest. A menace. Oh, he's a man. Should we get the environmental health them? Aye. Oh, no, I would ban him after the fair, at least. Ban him to after the fair? Aye. Right, that's when we'll get him back. Colin, you're banned to after the fair. Margaret. Aye. Hello, dear. Aye. I'm Aye. just going up concerning Colin. Concerning him? I'm not concerning him. I'm ah. telling him he stops the crime people down. Quite right. He shouldn't be the crime people down. He shouldn't be cry folks here. He shouldn't be the crime people down. Because, I mean, he can't, he's an idiot himself. Yeah, I agree with that too hard. But I, I think he should better get maybe at least a fortnight. A fortnight's banned. Uh, but what about till after the fair? No, I think that's a wee bit too much. Too far I, away. I think maybe a fortnight. A fortnight's banned to teach him a lesson. Yeah, to let him know and to stop the crying people down. Just to let him know to stop the crying people down. Kevin, are you there? Yeah, hello, Scotty. Hello. Right, about Colin. Yes. Don't ban him at all because this is Stephen again, because you need Colin and me to keep your show going, you see. Don't be so stupid. Yeah. Listen, once, no, if, I thought I, needed, if I thought I needed Dunderheads nah. like you no, and Scotty, Colin... Right. You're dead. Right. See, tonight, Scott, you're dead. It's a very nice. Paul Cut, you're dead. Very good, right. You're you, dead. Why, who's, who, who's your army? Mary Me. Poppins. I'm going to kill you. You and Mary Poppins. I'm going to kill you. You could fight your way out of wet Pope. Ah. Right, Thomas. Hello, Scotty. Yes. I think that everybody called Colin should be banned from the radio, don't you? Yes, are you called Colin? Neelam. Neelam, it is. <laughs> Hello, Scotty. Neelam. How are you? I'm very well, dear. Better for talking to you. That's true, yes. We need a woman to make you feel you better. I need a sensible woman on here. <laughs> Had enough of these idiots. Right. I'm just warning about Colin. Yes. I think you should get himself a wife. If that is all he can do, Scotty's phone you up and give you harassment, he's...